Hello everyone, we're, we're Moss Charmly. Today we're going to talk about Krita plugins. Mm -hmm. And you might be wondering what a plugin even is. So here we go with Wikipedia. <laughs> so uh, in computing, a plugin uh, is a software component that adds a specific feature to an existing computer program. So when a program supports plugins, it enables customization. So it basically is just a piece of programming that adds a bit more functionality to a program you're using. And Krita is plentiful with plugins. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. So we're going to mm -hmm. show you um, mm -hmm. everything. Well, not everything, but like... <laughs> just a few. Just a few just things. Just a few examples. Of, you know? of Krita plugins that are pretty cool. <laughs> and how to install them. Yes. And how to uninstall them. Or just basically integrate them into your Krita docs. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, that's what we're doing. Yeah, here, that's what we're doing. <laughs> so here's some really cool ones. They all do really neat and different things. So mm -hmm. you'll find a ton at kritaartist.org. Mm -hmm. And we'll show you even how to get there and how to find, you know, a, a Krita plugins. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty easy. It's, it is. It's pretty easy. So like, for example, there's Palette Generator, mm -hmm. which is the one we're going to actually install. Mm -hmm. And this one's really cool. It, it explains what they do in the top. And it's really neat. So if anyone is familiar with Adobe Color Wheel, Color Theme, Color Hex, and a bunch of palette resource, uh, this generates random color based on a selected scheme. Mm -hmm. And it's actually really neat. Exactly. So, you can customize the themes with specific you know, needs. Like, yeah, if you want it to be um, analogous. An analogous. An analogous. <laughs> basically, it's like they're kind of similar. So, yeah. Yeah, you know it I mean? has the tetradic yeah. and the, yeah, the double the split complementary, yeah. all these like fun, yeah. cool things really you cool could things do with color. Do. Exactly. So, that's a really neat it's option. It's a nice tool to use. Yeah, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. there's, Super user friendly. There's just neat ones. Uh, there's bully notes here. Mm -hmm. This is kind of neat because it adds um, notes to Krita documents. And you might not think that's useful, but I, I love this idea because it. Um, like, for example, if you have a brush that you might have uh, forgotten what you even used it for in a, in a specific or image. You modified it. Yes. You can create those notes. And right? you could have little notes that say, you know, experimental brush to rework background and used to draw shadows. I think mm -hmm. that's really great. It's really cool, especially if you walk it, you know, away from it a while and you forget what it is. Yeah, that mm -hmm. is super useful, yeah. super handy. Mm -hmm. um, they have uh, a uh, the blender plug. Yes. That's the, a good one. The yeah. Blender plugin yeah. super cool. So that's right here. Mm -hmm. This one can do a lot. So yeah. this mm -hmm. one, sorry for the it's quick cool. scroll, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, this one, actually, you can put a Blender sort of 3D. Yeah, it's a Blender window that'll pop up yeah. inside of Krita. And you can actually um, control Blender from Krita. So it's kind of a really neat yeah, you can tool because you can put your own like backgrounds if you've created 3D models, or yeah. backgrounds or anything you've made in Blender. You can trace over yeah. it with what you made in Blender. Yeah, it's really useful. It's actually, in fact, Krita was going to implement that in, uh, I think, 3.1. I think they were going to actually create something like this, but they actually created a little notation on this you know, person who created this and said, this is really good. So yeah, it's, it's really, <laughs> like that's it. a clever idea. So yeah. if you're, if you're, yeah. uh, um, if you're familiar with, uh, Clip Studio Paint, they ah, have, yes. they have that kind of feature mm -hmm. in it, but you can just get it for free yeah. in, uh, Krita. So that's exactly. pretty darn cool. It's a great resource. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes Krita really special is that all, all of these things are made by people yeah. that just want to just do it yeah. and it's really so it's community you know supported and created and you know that's one thing to really put into this is that this really is sort of a labor of love for so many people and there's so much input and so many you know just discussions and and you know questions being answered and it's such a nice community to really be a part of when you actually think about it you know, I yeah, think at least. I, I agree. Think it's really nice. And creditartist.org has got so many resources in it. So, but we're, yes. we're going to do plugins, yes. right? Okay, we're yes, we're going to talk about plugins. <laughs> and uh, also another really cool plugin is a shortcut composer where it makes oh. those like pie charts oh, or, yeah. you know, little 
pie menus, not charts, but like mm-hmm. pie menus. No, so it's really cool. So there's so many options and just wanted to share that with you. So, okay, let's get started. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to go into Krita, right? Yes. We're going to open up Krita so we're gonna and open just up see Krita. what happens. So yeah, there we go. Here we go. Krita 5.2.2. Okay. Can we go full screen if that's all right? Ah, yes. Here we go. Full screen. Okay. Now, how to get to, uh, yeah, this right? is how to find uh, Krita plugins. Yeah, exactly. So here on the main page, before you even make a document, you can um, go down through the community page and write down, it's the bottom here. Mm-hmm. And second to bottom, yeah. Yeah, second to bottom, user community, and you just click on that, and it will bring you to the where user community. the user community. It'll open up in the browser of choice that is your actual, uh, you know, the browser you've selected as your main browser. Yeah. <laughs> so just to let you know. So yeah. also you can you can go through here and it's it's in resources, but mm-hmm. I like to scroll down and go directly to plugins right here. That's the best way. It's much easier and more refined. Fast. And so you just click on plugins and here you are to that main page that we were just that we're scrolling. At. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's where you'll find it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so for us we would like to Start uh, doing the palette generator, right? Yes. That's the one. Second, third from the top? I think it is. Yes. Here it is. Start the there it is. There cool. we go. Okay. So this is the one we want to install. Mm-hmm. So here mm-hmm. it gives you that instruction or in the bottom. Mm-hmm. It tells you how to do it. Yeah. So it's really cool. You can scroll Lots down. Of people A lot comment of people on comment it. And on really it. like, hey, this thing is really awesome. So yeah, good work. Right. Really good. So you mm-hmm. can get it on GitHub. So that's also, so it'll it'll leave the link mm-hmm. to GitHub and you could just click on that and it'll bring mm-hmm. you to GitHub. And this may look complicated if you've never gone on GitHub or actually like tried to download something from GitHub. These things seem very complicated, but it's really not. It's just sort of like, you gotta get through a little bit of it at first. So, you know, yeah. don't be worried if it seems overwhelming or what the heck am I looking at? <laughs> It's okay. It's I, okay. That's so normal for this. I agree you know? with that. There are two ways to install a plugin. You can do it the way we're gonna we're gonna show you, mm-hmm. or yeah. like we're Usually gonna do they, the right? zip They'll, file. Yeah, exactly. Download a zip file, mm-hmm. and there's an, a second way, which is more complicated, mm-hmm. which you can put the code directly into Krita. Yeah, into the terminal, in ways, and then you actually right, you have to. Yeah, have to and that's directly, that's so, like yeah. the green button code. Yeah. We don't want to do that one. So this is much more. This one is simple. a lot mm-hmm. more simple. So we're going to scroll down mm-hmm. yeah. the, the page. And this, which we're passing by, actually shows a lot of the options yes. of, of how the palette will work and the different configurations that you can actually, you know, tailor your, the palette to. So, yeah. so it's really cool. And they yeah. show like a video palette generator in action. So yeah. it's really neat to see really a lot cool. of videos. So you so work down your way down to downloads, right? Yeah. There it is. You work your way down and it's a zip file. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And you just press the zip and it'll actually download it automatically into your download file. And you can save it where you want it. Downloads. Yeah. And we're going to save well. it. Boom. Bam. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to go back to Krita. Mm-hmm. And they will always oh. have like an installation Oh, yes. This process, is important. Right? They have Which the is really nice. install guide. So if, mm-hmm. if, if our video is not hitting you, this one will. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> Yeah, but it's a good walkthrough. Yeah, it's right? a good walkthrough. So yeah. here it gives you, you know, the directions. So this mm-hmm. is super informative and really cool. So, mm-hmm. and it's neat because we always go back to like, oh, did we mess up? So <laughs> yeah. it's okay if you mess up. Yeah, so it's not going to make not anything gonna blow up on you. So yeah. we'll go back here too mm-hmm. if we're, we mess up. <laughs> so we downloaded the zip. <laughs> so we're yes. going back to Krita. Back to Krita. Now we're going to go up to, mm-hmm. uh, I think it, you, if you all the way to the top it'll pop down there we go you want to go to tools well, i think oh. we should do new image first to show oh, that oh. like oh, you're right. you know Sorry. let's start there. We'll start there and then then we mm-hmm. go to the top bar here mm-hmm. oh oh you're right there it there is here it is mm-hmm. top bar here mm-hmm. go into tools tools scripts scripts and then you're going to go down to the one that says import python plugin from file Click okay. that. There you go. It's going to bring you to, okay, where, where is it going to go? So we're going to go into downloads because that's where it came from, right? And we're going to look for the zip. It's somewhere Searching. in there. There, there it is. There it is. 
open. Well, no, that's Creative oh. 5.1. That's a different, Uh-oh. That's a different Oops. Oh, Palette mm-hmm. Generator. There it is. Oh. All that stuff. There's there a lot go. of stuff in the downloads. Sorry for the confusion. Yeah. So let me click it. There we go. Yes. Yes, please. Yes. Boom. So there so we go. That means you got to restart Krita after this to actually make it work right. Yep. So, so we go back down. to Krita. Quick Krita. There mm-hmm. we go. Take a breath. Take a little breather. <sighs> open it back up. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. We'll go new back image. to that new image. Mm-hmm. And then this is what happens, right? You actually have to go into Krita. And you're going to want to go into configure Krita. So usually you find your preferences, okay? And you go into preferences. And then you're going to go all the way down. And it's going to Python plugin manager, okay? Now there's a few of these that are in here, right? And we're looking for the palette generator. And if you look, it's right there. It's got that little check mark, so that's a good sign. If you scroll down that little sidebar, Uh, then you can see it. And if you click it on, you click it off, it's work. It randomly generates. There we go. It's good. You press OK. Boom, done. So we know it's in there (laughs) successfully. And that means that if you actually open it up, you go to... Oops. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You want to go to the Dockers. So you want to go over to Settings. I think it's in this one. Yeah, there it is. Dockers. And you're going to actually see if you can find it. So it's going to be palette generator. Here we go. And then we just click this. Yeah. So it becomes a And it pops up. Look at that. Super nice down there. Yeah, you can make that that as big as you want. Don't worry about it. That's good, just as a reference. So yeah. Now, with this trick, you actually have to pick a color to make it work right. You know what I mean? So this is kind of cool. And then pick this circle here to generate our first color. Uh And you press generate. And then generate. Boom. Bam. Right oh, that's so cool. And I love this. this one is said is analogous. <laughs> Analogous. <laughs> I'm a monochromatic. Let's complimentary. 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 Let's try that. And then we press generate. Super cool. Very cool. What's really mm-hmm. neat, too, about this is that you can continually generate yeah. different different things mm-hmm. that are all still complementary. Still random. And still random. Yeah. So that's kind of neat. And you can also name... Make yes. these as a palette. You can, like, exactly. Isn't that, that's the that's cool part of that. That's cool. It. Yeah. So. And this is a very well thought out plugin. I know, right? Oh. I mean, I, such good work. I want to just nerd out on all these plugins and mm-hmm. try them out. There's a, a, a whole plugin um, that is just, it's like the theme creator extension. Yeah. Yeah. And it just makes, um, it makes all of your, um, it just makes your Krita desktop look pretty. Mm-hmm. So that's really neat. We'll show you that right here. Yeah. It's the theme creator. Where is it? Did I screw around? I think around? it's it's ah, up this here. One. Yeah, right there. There it is. And it look you it's gorgeous. Scroll, scroll up. Yeah, scroll we've up. Obviously, been looking and at you it. Can, yes, we yeah, have. It's cool. Look at this. Look at that. That's fun. Incredible. You can make it fun. Yeah. These are really really great things. I mean, some creators look at just some creators. Artsy sock. Great idea. I, Change the I font. Like it. it really looks great. And somebody in the comments made a beautiful one too. Oh, yeah. And they showed their art. Oh, this one, that's look so at this. pretty. Beautiful. I love it. Especially when, look at that. Very Absolutely. elegant. Very nice. Very nice. Just beautiful. Totally thematic. So, as you can tell, there are a lot of plugins. Yeah, so we like to and, nerd out about yeah, right? it. for Krita. Really nice. Right? And it's so cool that everybody has just worked so hard to build these. This one I'm looking for. Yeah, they do work hard. The yeah. Canvas Buddy. For that minimalist. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's gonna be cool. That's neat. That just want to try all of these yeah. plugins. I never really do that, and now I'm just like, well, it's it's really fantastic. Cool. So yeah, so yeah. kritaartist.org, great resource for Krita. Yes. Right? I mean, in all honesty. So yeah, just remember if you you know when you're actually in Krita, it's easy to find. You know, so if you restart Krita. It's right down at the bottom. It'll left, still right? be there It'll when you be make, there. you know. And you just use your community. Thank you so much, user community. Yeah, thank you. It's cool. They're really awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. And if you ever need help, they're there. There it is. <laughs> so, yeah. We yeah. hope we helped you out um, by, you know, learning how to download a plugin. Yeah. And a little bit about where you can find them. Yeah. You know, for Krita. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> <laughs> hello yeah. and bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Most Charlie out. Most Charlie out. (laughs) Thank you.